What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. I'm with my buddy Mike. What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up, Mike. The terror infamy. Yes, it That's is. That's what's up. So uh, that is what's up. This yes. is a new horror anthology series on AMC. We did. Mike and I did not watch the terror episode uh, season one uh, previously no. last year. Whenever it came on, that was based on a book. This, however, is based on its own whimsical fancies, and this is uh, again they've turned this series into a an a horror slash historical horror uh, fiction uh, anthology. So, uh, right off the bat, we're just gonna just jump in it, guys. The show's freaky. There's some freaky stuff going on. Mm -hmm. We're talking spirits. We're talking old world demons. We're talking all this stuff. Mike and I were just having a conversation off camera off mic about what it could be and i said nope it's got to happen on the cameras so here's the thing so this this show has two things going for it right off the bat i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest with you it's gonna be right off the bat it's it's a historical look at a really depressing and shameful time in american history this is not you know what however you feel about america this 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 period of time was not our best when it came uh, especially to especially for Japanese immigrants that are well here. at the time, right? It's at, at the time, and <clears throat> unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, right now, you know, not to be political, but it's it's we don't learn from our mistakes apparently, and there are people that are doing things in this country that are basically the same shit that they were doing back then. So, what ends up happening at the end of this first episode? Um, the reason the show is called Infamy, I believe, is now is uh, is the reference to. Uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor that happened on December 7th in 1941, the morning of Sunday, December 7th. And that that day in, out in American history is, is, is called the Day of Infamy. So right away, there you go. There's your uh, reference to, to why it's called that and everything like that. So yeah. we'll start, we're, we're, we're in California. We're in San Pedro, California. We're quite a ways away from Pearl Harbor. Uh, this is on like the – it's on a naval base. And there's a bunch of Japanese immigrant families who are living there and just trying to make a living. And, you know, we meet Chester um, uh, Nakayama, who is the son of a fisherman. And he just wants to be, you know, have the American dream. He's, you know, he wants to be a photographer. He wants to work for magazines. He's, yeah. you know, he, he was, you know. He has, yeah, he has, a lot, he has a lot of dreams. I mean, obviously, you know, his family has been there for a while. Um, I believe they said that it took him 20 years for the father to save up enough money for the Packard and how proud he was um, yep. for being one of the few um, Japanese uh, men in the in the area to own a vehicle. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it's I mean, that first scene, what do you think of the first? OK, scene? so so this is so right away. Here's the thing. And this was a little bit of a, a conversation Mike and I were having. Yeah. So the whole so we see this woman commit suicide, but there's something very wrong with this woman with mm. all the clicking and the you know that's that's demons bro all right that's demons whether you like it or not okay we've watched enough walking dead and enough you know horror stuff to know that's demons so mm. this woman okay so so he, he, okay here's the thing she she dies and she's the wife of Hideo Furura i don't know how to say that furura Furu, 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 I can't, I can't don't get even, it don't even out of my mouth. <laughs> so his, her husband and son, they're there, and and Chester and his family are there, and obviously it's a tight knit community. Everybody knows each other. It's one of those things. Mm. He, we see him give Chester, the her, the husband of Hideo, we see him give Chester um, two vials of something, and he calls him a coward. We later find out that Chester has, was dating and impregnated. Um, uh, another immigrant, well, um, Spanish immigrant, yeah, Spanish immigrant, <laughs> you know, and they can't be because it's it's forbidden. It's forbidden yeah. in both of their cultures. It was a long time ago. Not only yeah. not only their cultures, but also like in America at the time too. Like yeah. they just they just couldn't be together. Anyway, it's it's to give her an abortion. The woman who killed herself in the beginning of the show was the one that created this, and her husband says, and Chester also believes it true that. She killed herself because she did this. She had to do this. She mm -hmm. she lost her humanity. She whatever it was. I mean, a little, you know, whatever. It's it's a it's little like much. Taking, it's like taking life, though. So she feels. So she feels. But here's the thing. So 
Mikey, I'm not completely disagreeing with you when I, when yeah. when 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 I did when I say it's not it wasn't solely that I so now you have Chester's mother, all right, uh, Asako. She's like she keeps telling the dad whose name is Henry. Uh, she keeps telling him, "Oh, the spirits followed us." The, you know, when when the body falls out and this wind, wicked wind comes and the body falls out when they're on the on the shore there. Yeah, at the funeral, like they're like, "Oh, the old world spirits," and the dad's like, "No, they they, they didn't follow they us. Can't, they can't follow." But us. apparently, something followed them. So we don't know what it is something just did. yet. Or is it just a? Or is it just the the simple fact that because she made this this drink, this potion? Is uh, what caused a particular spirit, if that is w- indeed what it is, right? That's what to I'm corrupt saying. Corrupt her, or something like that, and and maybe by the body falling out is the release. Um, I mean, I don't. No, know. No, I don't think that because we've got other stuff going on. So, so let's keep going oh. with this other stuff. So, the thing about the show, Mikey, besides it being this like historical thing, which is which, first of all, I'm really enjoying. You know, yeah. it's it was a very weird time and period of time for for our for our country. And for the people living here, and for the immigrants, and so, you know, seeing seeing it played out on on the small screen is is an interesting thing. So I'm I'm very interested in that. I'm interested in seeing the people who immigrate, who emigrated, but also the people who were born here, you know, um, you know, as as children of these immigrants. And then you have this supernatural thing happening, which I absolutely love. So the one yeah. thing about the show, excuse me, is that. They're jumping into it right away. As far as I know about the first season of of this show, The Terror, you know that was like, oh, so there is something hunting us. We're 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 a group of these people trapped in the ice in this wasteland, and yeah. there's something hunting. And it took its time getting to there. Here, they said, nope, you're gonna get this, and you're gonna get this. These are the two yeah. elements that you're gonna get. Enjoy. So right away, we're getting this stuff. Obviously. At the end of this episode, we see the character Yuko, who Chester yeah. meets in the brothel. She's she's a fucking demon, bro. There's something. She the skin is she, like. I, I I think that she she has to. There's. I still want to believe that it's something with the mother that killed herself that is transformed into Yuko or something of some some kind. Because when we see. Uh, I'm sorry with the names, the father, the husband of the woman that killed herself, Hideo, yeah. leaving the the bar or whatever that was, she's passing. You see her pass him, Yuko. And right, that's, yeah, when he goes, that's when he goes blind. Yeah, so what what's the connection with seeing her? Do, is was it, was it her that caused the blindness? Was it the bad booze? Did they throw that in there to trick us? Because then we see her again, like you said, in the brothel. And she's kind of, she's giving... Um, the, the, you know, how Chester kind of talks about, you know, the child and the home and what he wants. I want a wooden home. I want this child. He goes to lose after this and tries to convince her to leave. Well, that's because she read his tea leaves. Right. And yeah. yeah. So it's like, is she, is she, is she good? Is she bad? Yuko? Yuko is like one of those characters that I'm kind of the most curious about right now. Because I'm trying to see what the connection is. I'm trying to see what the connection is with Yuko and the and the woman that killed herself. Are, are they the same? Is she now in this new body? Um, is is the is the, um, the 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 mist that 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 kills Grichik, which is the fisherman that's trying to blackmail the family and all this kind of stuff that initially takes the 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 Packard? Um, is was that Yuko? Is that a different force? That's why. That's what's really compelling about the show. That's what I really enjoyed about it. Not only the creep factor stuff, but um, Yuko being very, very. She's a beautiful woman, and then at the end, seeing her peel peel the face. So it's it's, it's a mask of some sort. It's, I, I want to know who's in there. Is the is the is the mist that killed um, Grichik the same as are they this one with with Yuko? What Yuko has to do with the blindness. Those are my big things. Those right. are like the main notes that I put All on right. here. So, so my, so my, those are my big questions, and that's a big reason of why I'm enjoying it. I, I, I texted you. Yeah, I know. I said, dude, the fucking terror is pretty fucking creepy. It's pretty. I bad. know. So the, here's my initial, here's my initial thoughts on, on, on what all that is. Again. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I pretty much summed up <laughs> the episode. Right. <laughs> right. But so, so this is what I think. I. But those are the big questions. My take is that. There is a 
whether or not it's all it was already there or the or by her creating that concoction they she summoned this the old old malevolent spirits mm-hmm. i do think yuko is an embodiment of those spirits i think yuko i think the spirits f- manifested into yuko whether whether yuko is a real person and it manifested into that body or it was a body created yeah from the male- malevolent spirit i actually think it might just be that yuko is a real person and that the spirit is now inhabiting yuko because yuko is in this community and is around but the spirit is now in the community and can travel in and out of of yuko's body listen to this this is part of my theory you're mm. talking about oh did he have a bad drink in that no you got it you you can't miss the audio clues of the all the clicking of the body and all the shit. The spirit controls the body. This the malevolent spirit, okay, was summoned. It it controlled um the the woman um to uh, Maseo to kill herself. It manipulated the body okay. to do that. So then you're saying wait, that- wait, let me don't let me keep going. <laughs> when the fuck because I gotta get it out. You go yeah. When when the father comes out, Yuko passes him, right? Mm. Then he looks back and Yuko's gone. Guess what? The spirit then jumped into the father, right? Mm. Did the... And made him stare at the son and blind what, himself. What did he do? What did he do? All right? <laughs> and he, it's so creepy. I freaking love it. And he blinded himself and then left. Okay. So okay. my theory, if you pay attention to these cues... My th- mm. Yuko is a way for the for the spirit to be in this community without it being seen, and a way to be an incarnate. Now it's destroying Yuko, it's deteriorating, it's it's eating her from the inside out. I think, but because she's the host, you get it. She's the host for this demon. Yet the demon can jump. It's like that movie with Denzel Washington. I can't remember the name of it right now. But where the, the evil spirit was jumping from like body to body. No, no, no. But I think that's what this is. This it's 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 body hopping and and punishing these people. So he punished Maseo for doing that. Or, or we we don't know. Tom, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Let me fit. Hold on. We don't let know. Me let me finish. Let me finish. We don't know that. That's the. I bet you we're gonna find something out that the father Hideo probably. I bet you he did some shit. And his family's being punished, the wife, and then him. And watch, I bet you something with his son. Because they're not, because that's not the family they're going after. And, and, and again, you're making assumptions. You're making assumptions that it was the boat. No, they weren't saving the boat. They were fighting. It was against this guy. Maybe, maybe they are protected. Maybe the, the Nakayama family is protected. You don't know. But what I'm saying is that well, the that's, Yoshi- that's my question. Is that so, the- you, so, so you're saying that, or you assume that your theory is, is that whatever killed Grichik on the boat is the same as what blinded um, Hideo and who I think inside. so. You- I think so. And I think it's a malevolent spirit that's a, that's attached itself to the one family at this point. That's my, that's my working theory right now. So, so we'll see. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's that's yeah, that's I mean, what I'm saying. Listen, it, it, I mean, it could be. It could be. I'm, uh, you know, I, I kind of explain exactly how I feel. Um, I mean, rather quick. Um, but that's th- those are the big questions that I had from it. You know, um, is is it the one? Is it one being that's doing this? The big thing is uh, about the boat. Like, <sighs> I think you get caught why, up on. I think you're getting caught I, up on stuff, man. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it was 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 the I don't. I don't. I think. The, I think it wasn't the boat. I think it has to do Grichik with him. Was Grichik. Yeah, I think it has to do with him because it was following him. Remember, he was in the cannery and he was walking past, and then that that can just rolled up and stopped, and it tried killing him. Remember, I, it already yeah, tried killing him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that's I don't true. think it has to do with the Nakayama family, with yeah, Chester and Henry and Asaka. Yeah. I I I think it has to do with the other family, Hideo. So then it must be. Then it must have to do with something that she made this potion i actually think it, it might be something the father did previously yeah and is following the family uh, we'll and, see. and is punishing yeah. the family that's what i yeah. think because she punished the mother punished the father now let's see what happens to the son Toshiro. 
That's yeah. my theory. But anyway, yeah. So listen, uh, well, let's uh, the, listen. You, quite, we, you've made it possible. very clear what your questions are. I've made it very yeah. clear what my theories are. So yeah. we want to know what you guys think about exactly. about where you guys think this is going. If you if you guys do know now, Mikey, is this available on demand? Can people? I believe you can get it. I don't think it's like um, I don't think it's Nasiratu like how was. Uh, Nasiratu was where you okay. can binge the whole thing. I just wanted I to know if you people can get were binging it if you're this, a yeah. premium member. I believe you can watch them 48 hours before they. Okay, so they're not on there. Okay, so yeah, all right. So we're not. So we're not too far ahead of the, the thing. Um, yeah. This uh, this is this was a great episode. I really enjoy this. Sh mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's slow. I think it's very good. It's setting everything no, it was up. Really and, good. You know, it was now really hearing my own theory out loud is making me like it even more. <laughs> I don't know if you I'm know right, what? but. No, know, I mean, listen. I, like I mean, it. I think it's really, it's really fantastic. Going, going show. back and forth is one of the big reasons why we started doing this kind of thing in the first yeah, place. Because we bullshit with each other and we kick around ideas and we can get some cool theories. One thing that we didn't mention really quick was obviously Chester has a friend who's an American, which is also he's very cool the Navy, for the yeah, he's for the, in the for the, Navy, yeah. for the time. Yeah. So after Grichik's body is found, they're both questioned, and that's when the the bomb drops, and he says, "Get the hell out of here." Um, the last scene, really, before the face peel thing, is we're seeing the the Japanese men taking a, taken away the internment and, camp. Yeah, so now yeah. exactly. So that's what and we were saying in the beginning. Chester yeah. is able to stay because he says you're an American, you're born here, this and that. So I wonder if that'll be the last time that we see the father, uh, Chester's dad. I don't uh, think so. I think they take them to Nebraska. I think they take him to an internment camp in Nebraska, and I think Chester's following. I think that's what it showed in the. Um, is that what you see? I didn't see. I didn't yeah, see. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the, I think I think he's gonna follow them over there. I think yeah. So it'd be interesting. Yeah, so well, to see. I mean, yeah, it, it is. It's really, it's really, um, it's really creepy. Um, I, I mean, I really thought the acting was great, and um, yeah, it's it just, uh, it's just one of those series that really, um, uh, brings you in. You know, it, it with 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 a lot of the the questions after watching the episode, and that's what makes a good show. That's what makes a good series. Yep. Um shitty shitty series and sh and lousy shows don't have people like us uh, doing reviews on them for the most right. part so uh yeah it's really it's really um a, a cool new amc series i hope you guys are watching this uh i don't think there's anything else i think we got to everything right that's Chris? it so let's end it check us out third person on all the social media outlets there right in the comment section below let us know if you're watching um the terror hopefully you are give it a shot it's really interesting stuff uh i think that says it all Everybody have a great night. Um, thanks again for everyone that supports the channel, obviously. And, um, yeah, check out a lot of our other content. We also started doing Woo Assassin, so if you guys are into that kind of stuff, if you're fans of the sh of our channel, you know that we're fans of the Badlands. It's very cool. Another martial arts uh, series. So uh, go over there to Netflix and check that out, too, and check out our reviews for the show of Woo Assassins also. That's it, everybody. We'll see you next time for the Terra Infamy. Peace yeah. out. Peace.